Hey, I'm Tony Visick, and I'm here uh, for AZE 360. I'm your comedy entertainment reporter here at our fabulous AZE 360 studios in the heart of South Scottsdale. That's where we are. If you're looking for fun, if you're looking for excitement, come no further than an alley in South Scottsdale where Brian and I will entertain you. This, by the way, is Brian James, who's not only a really funny stand-up comic, but you are the voice of Extra, the TV show right. Extra. The tabloid trash show. And and also in the Phoenix area of Channel 5? Channel 5, yeah. That's pretty cool. Can you give us a little uh, something like an extra thing? No. Come on, do it. I'll give you a dollar. <sighs> Coming up tonight on Extra, Britney shaves a body part. You get to guess which one. <laughs> That'll keep me up all night. I know. Here's the thing. You've got a real successful career as a voiceover guy. You've that's, been in radio for years. That's what you think, yeah. yeah that's, that's what I hear. Yeah. You know, I turn on my radio... <laughs> I'm someplace, I'm in, yeah, I'm in a big town, like maybe Enid, Oklahoma. I turn on the radio, I hear your voice. I'm in Enid. Saying, now the weather. Right. But here's my question. You got this great career. You're doing really well. And you've decided to do stand-up comedy. What made you want to do that? I'm cooped up at home all day, and I just wanted to get out. <laughs> and you don't bowl? <laughs> I don't bowl. And it's just, you know, honestly, my, my studio's at my house. I work all day long yeah. at home. Yeah. I never get to go anywhere. And I thought... I'll just I'll try this stand up thing. <laughs> <laughs> and now you're now, now you're hooked, right? Yeah, yeah. It's I love like it. it's like dope. It. Yeah. It's therapy. like you're a drug addict. Free therapy. Free therapy and it's free therapy. Yeah. I, I've seen a lot of your shows. So let me ask you this, because you, you you've been around a lot, you know, uh, and I don't mean that in a negative way. I don't mean yeah. like you've been around a lot. I've been around a lot. Like, too. like a used rag doll. Yeah. But you have. But yeah. um there's a, obviously a big comedy scene in New York. There's a big comedy scene in Los Angeles. I know you've been in both those cities. How do you feel about the Phoenix comedy scene? Oh, it's great. I actually I'll see a lot of talent here. I mean, yeah. one of the things that impressed me the most was that, uh, that I saw guys that, uh, honestly, in the, in the showcases and things I've seen around town, uh, guys with more talent here. Yeah. Uh, guys in L.A. and New York are going to hate me, but there's, there, I just, there's, a lot, there's a lot of talent here. Cool. Look, here here's a question I've always wanted to ask. See, I, I, most of the shows I've seen you do, you've done really well. There, must have been, there may have been shows uh, where you didn't do as well. When you don't do as well, how does that feel afterwards? Do you have a, does it make you want to get back up there right away and do another show? You go, I'm going to quit. I'm going to kill myself. What do you, what do you think? No, I, you just go back. You look at, the, look at the tape of the show yeah. and just go back and go, what could I have done better? Yeah. You know, and to me, the only thing, it, it's always preparation. Just be more prepared, yeah. ready to go when you get up there and have a good time. If you, if you take it too seriously, it shows up on stage. Yeah, you're up there looking like you're like yeah. lecturing yeah. people. Yeah. Paxil or Oxycontin, which do you prefer? Paxil. Paxil. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Me too. It's my favorite. Me too. Yeah. I, now you've been in the business for a long time. Okay, you've been don't, in the entertainment don't, business for don't, a long time. Don't make me tell how long. <laughs> you started out in radio. Uh huh. Okay, and then you started getting stand up, mm -hmm. and now you're here. Yeah, very plush. This. A nice, a nice place too. Now, will the people who produce extra, if they see this, is I'll this be fired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I figure the local Channel Five gigs are already gone. It's already gone. Yeah, it's in the it's yeah. in the trash. Have you ever been the guy up in a helicopter? Why do people always ask me that? I don't know the traffic guys. I don't know any of that you don't, stuff. You, now, let me get this. So you're the voiceover guy. Right. And you people don't truck with the traffic people. No. No, there's like a big division. Yeah, I don't like them. You don't like them? Not really. No? No. No, they're, they're like a gutter people? Yeah, it's a whole different class of do people. Do we have you on record as saying that the weather people are gutter people? Yeah, yeah, it's true. Okay. I don't like most of the weather guys. Okay. Well, I just want to say this. Uh, I've heard you, I've heard you uh, on radio and on television for years, and I've seen your stand-up, and I think you're one of the best stand-up, up-and-coming stand-up comics we've seen. And I certainly hope you stick with it, and that you'll keep. Uh, maybe you'll do some free promos for AZE 360. Well, I have Give to because I'm going I'm to be unemployed. Do it. <laughs> say, say, watch AZE 360. Do, do. I'll get. Please, do it. Go ahead. Do I get money? I'll be your friend. Watch AZ. What is it? <laughs> what the hell is it? Where am I? AZE. <laughs> it's on the microphone. Watch AZE. <laughs> 360. Yeah, that's with this you, guy. That's Can I ask a question? I guess. Yeah, do we have to, yeah. What gives you the right to be the host? <laughs> I, they couldn't find the real host. Okay. They're actually in between hosts right now and That's all cut. You don't have to listen to him yeah. talk anymore. Okay. All right. Thanks a lot, Brian. Okay.